Alrighty guys, let's go. Let us go. Sorry, we had to fix the camera because we had some ruckus in the office. Look at this, we were doing ladder challenge. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright guys, what's up? How you guys doing? If you guys noticed, we are out of the closet today. Context, I'm a designer for a mod project known as CCEM and with, within we have relics for that reference. That's awesome, dude. Okay, so, yeah, I like that. I mean, at the top of my head, I felt like a choosing a colorless card. Um, like on a third turn, she was fitting. And I think it's, it's a very thematic, it's, it's strong, it's RNG, it's versatile, I like it. Speaking of colors, cards. Okay, transmutation. What's up, Sonha? I've been playing the Central 20 only for like a very long time. For a very long time. Alright, let's go. Okay. 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 There we go. All right, we have no life because we took that, you know, the damage to get transmutation. Oh, this is gonna hurt. All right, frozen is very strong. Now we just gotta like. Okay, combust is really good. We just need to stay alive. All right, get through. Look, this run has potential already. Look, he's got to stay alive for the next couple of fights. Got to rest. Got to get through one elite, and then we're good. Oh god. Oh god. All right, God. This. Oh shit. That's kind of cool, actually. That was a cool little combo. The waffle looks so good, I know. I already, I already played a regular run, so I, when I did the charity stream, I did the ladder challenge, and I went seven wins in a row, climbing up the uh, ladder. I was like 20 hours in. It, it, it's Lower attention is really, uh, it's really uninteresting. But uh, you, know, you can make it interesting by just doing crazy little builds. <sighs> but yeah, man, I've been playing Session 20 for a long time. The, the lower ones are really easy, but you could do some crazy stuff. So, for instance, on on that ladder challenge, we had unironic usage of... What's that card called? I don't use it so often, I don't even know the name. What's the card called? It's, uh, hmm. Unironic usage of... The fucking silent card with shivs. It called Curtis the modern battle lord and his overly comfy chair minute and his tiny horn and and his dear headphones. That's awesome, man. And, and, and that's a great idea. Stormer Steel, yeah. Unarmed cases of Stormer Steel. We had some crazy runs. All right, I just need to stay alive. We have blood pressure to help us stay alive. I, I, I also hope that I have like. Hope I have the appropriate strength for the elite as well, and that's just another issue. Like, we kind of need a high roll into triple centuries with this combust. Kind of need a high roll into this triple century for combust. I mean, metamorphosis from transmutation can kind of uh, carry as well. I mean, look, look, look at those kind of damage swings. It's kind of insane, right? So we could, we definitely can get carried. I want to weaken. Ah. Uh, Weaken right now. This is awkward. Yo, kill some math thick. Thanks for the follow, buddy. All right. The weaken's awkward with bash. I would like it for the. Take anger here. Now we're gonna rest. I just need to survive. This elite, and I think this run has a lot of potential. Oh, this is perfect. This is a perfect elite for us. Absolutely perfect. Get my powers out and transmutation. This is absolutely perfect. Okay, where the hell is transmutation though? Like, really? I have to get it at the end of my turn? Okay, that's fine. I'm still gonna do max magic transmutation. 
Okay, huge. Huge. Panic button's worth it, right? Because I'm just going to go full attack. Worth it. Okay, huge. Still getting his house off of that. I'm so close to getting hand agreed lethal. Can you believe that? Actually, right, so we got through the elite. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, mango is huge. Carnage for some front loaded. I mean, ah, uh, yes, I'll take it. What about dual wield though? Like, what about the dual wield potential? This, this is how you get really interesting really quickly. And I mean, it's a little, it's sort of meme, but it's interesting. We could do dual wield from metallicize, dual wield for whatever transmutation pops up. Transmit dual wield combust if you're feeling frisky. But like. I think the combination of trying to do dual wheel for transmutation things is too clunky. So we'll take the carnage here. Let's try to reduce clunkiness. Oh, it's an inflame plus. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. And I can't even buy spot weakness. So that's unfortunate that I can't buy that. That would in drastically increase the deck's power here. Okay. I want to do this. I want to go all in on transmutation right here. Let's go. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a, such a, it's such a such a. That's what it is. It's just a such a. And more transmutation. Okay, I love it. 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 Disarm is huge. Uh, ghostly armor is better for the boss here. Disarm is really good though. I mean, we're gonna go for triple century or lag of Volin. Disarm is better for act two. Ghostly armor is currently better for this boss and this elite. Give me one second. What's up? I felt good, man. I mean, I was tired. I slept a long time, man. After that stream, I slept a long ass time. I uh, slept a long, long time. Okay, so this is awkward because uh, this arm is really good. I was being really conversational today. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, God. I was being so conversational today. I gotta just not be triggered. Ay, ay, ay. We'll persevere, boys. We're gonna persevere. Man, 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 I think I can't pass up and disarm. I think we have to take Ghostly because it's better in both in all both of these fights here. Anger's probably better than Whirlwind, but Whirlwind's more damage. But Anger might end up being Again, okay, Whirlwind was actually not more damage, but I mean, uh, that was actually stupid. Whirlwind was not more damage. That was that was a stupid mistake. Anger's probably better to, to fill up my cup. Uh, Combust just kind of wins this fight, so I could just go ahead and block because Combust wins this fight. I have lethal next turn. Okay. Preserve Insect, huge. Oh my god, don't you love it when you get Preserve Insect after all these elites? Okay, this is a really strong Act 1. Like, okay. An early barricade. Is This is awkward because I don't really have the justification for this barricade. But it is it is upgraded and... God, this is such a bad Act 1 deck. But at the same time, it could be really interesting if I get through it. It's about components. Hmm, we have trans... Okay, I want to check something, guys. <laughs> we got it. Okay, so this is this is an emote that Nine Tail made when we were doing the charity stream. I got pied in the face, right? And my camera got frozen on this, and Nine Tail made an emote up, out of it. So I was like, oh, I'll upload it. Why not? You can't really see it though when it's small, right? You can't really see it. But it, it was a funny moment. If you were there, it was a funny moment. That's where we draw that. We can, we can do that, yeah. 
Transportation is so awkward. I mean, I got <laughs> there's like such a small world where this is actually good, but it's just fun. This is fun. Yeah, there's a lot of emotes we need to get. Absolutely. This deck is leaving a lot to be desired. I think I gotta maximize the bash. I think Combust can carry here. I think maximizing bash might be the best upgrade, but I, like, I don't want to rest. I think maximizing the bash makes the most sense for the split. Although, if I guess I rest, I can let Combust do the work and the Combust just carries the fight then. But then I don't like going into Act 2 with less upgrades, right? So, going into Act 2, I would like to upgrade Ghostly or Bash. Bash just because we have Champion's Belt and the Vulnerable is just really important. Um, I think I'm fine without resting here. So, let's take advantage. I wish I had transportation on these turns, right? Like, on the turns for transportation, I don't get Barricade. Ah, uh, so Barricade's cool and all, but we need Bash. Unless we're trying to- unless we're playing differently, right? Unless we're just trying to slow play this fight. If we're trying to slow play this fight, we don't do Bash, then we don't try to do Carnage stuff. But I feel like Bash leads into Carnage. Which is gonna lead to like a decent split, but maybe not the best split. If I do Barricade, I get it out of the deck, and then I can kind of try to take a, a, a slower approach, but we're, we're not gonna have a lot of X's block because we're gonna take damage. So this is weird because Carnage is gonna be coming up, and we want to maybe go for the split, or do Barricade get it out of the deck, take a slow approach, but then Transmutation is gonna be awkward. Transmutation is gonna be awkward regardless. So Panic Man can just block this turn. Maybe that's worth it. That's another that's another transmutation. That's crazy. So I think what we could do is like instead of going for the split, we do transmutation now, get it out of the way, and then do panic button for this turn. That makes the most sense. We also have Panacea, which is kind of interesting. And I can do this, check this out. So then we just have full block. And now I guess that's pretty good for Barricade if I had Barricade out, but okay. I don't want to get rid of Ghostly Armor, but I really want to get Combust out, so this is awkward. This, this is an act when you're never going to see other people do. I'm telling you guys. Ascension 20 players don't do transmutation crap like this. And that's because most of the time it's really memeing RNG, but it, when you make it work, it's like it's like fireworks, right? Uh, well, this sucks. I think it's Sacrifice Ghostly, I guess. That makes the most sense here. Combust is going to make him pop, and I think maybe we don't Sacrifice Ghost. Oh, so look. I want to play Combust, but it's going to make him pop here. And I have a really big strike next turn. Ah, uh, but maybe I just want to, like, push him forward. Uh, this is awkward because I can get a much better split next turn. Maybe I shouldn't have played Carnage? We can get a better split next turn, but then we don't play Combust. And we're going to get a lot more slimes. If I do combust anger now, then we have less, less we have no ghostly armor, we have less slimes in the deck, and then we have this as our opening turn. I mean that's a lot of damage next turn. That's gonna be 27, 36, 36 more damage. Let's take the slimes. I guess that feels worth not having his combust out kind of sucks. Hmm, I don't know. I guess this helps a lot, actually. I guess it's kind of GG, never mind. Alright, uh, just game over. Okay, it wasn't even hard. It wasn't even a decision, to be honest. Let's see if we can take this transmutation and actually make it meaningful because currently 
we have a meme deck. I want to bring it to a good deck, right? So, Exhum. Now, with that being said, with that being said, Exhum for transmutation <laughs> or whatever it pops out. I mean, I so want to bring it to the promised land. Exhum has a lot of versatility. This is like the complete RG versatility deck. It's absolutely crazy. Reaper's not bad. We don't have strength for it necessarily, and we don't really have a. Uh, Reaper's such a good card, but we're going a weird route here, aren't we? We're going a weird route. Fiendfire, honestly, is probably just better. Get rid of these strikes. Just get really good bursts. Fiendfire is probably just better, and we have longer one roll up time. Oh boy! But if we want to go for the. The Zoom RNG is going to be crazy. This also has Barricade, and this is a Barricade deck. This is so strange. I think Fiendfire is probably the best. Could be front loaded. Pretty decent with Snake Away. Um, I mean, we already have Carnage for front loaded. We have a lot of two cost cards as it is. Zoom is the versatile approach. It's a really weird approach. Uh, Reaper is really good. I think Fiendfire is probably the best just to kind of have strong turns and get rid of the strikes. Mm. It's gonna be so many awkward turns of Carnage, Bash, and Fiendfire for, for sure. I don't even know what the relic's gonna be. What's up, Johnson? Yeah, man. Charity, charity, charity. I got a Wusa out. It out. I had a competition going into the stream. Got a Wusa it out. Whew. Yeah, early stream. What's up, Johnson? How you doing, buddy? Reaper is a good card overall. Yep, it's good sustain. Has a lot of super high ceiling with the uh, strength scaling. Super high ceiling. Fiendfire is very good as well for similar reasons. Just like strong burst damage, potential ceiling as well with Fiend, uh, Funeral Pain. Uh, cleans out the deck if Barricade's ever going to be a thing. Exhum is the complete wild card. The versatile approach, versatile French mutation stuff. Or whatever else you might draw. Uh, it's not an easy choice at all. Hmm. I know the Reaper's healing. I know that Reaper is healing my boy. I can't believe I took the barricade. This is stupid. I can't believe I took the barricade here. It's crazy. No longer Smith, huh? Alright. If we no longer Smith, we have Frozen Egg. And I suppose we upgraded a lot of decent cards. We can hope the transmutation gives us Apotheosis more often than not. I'm going for it. I'm down. I mean, these campfires are going to be kind of awkward, though, so I need to find a, an alternative means for campfires. I can't say this is necessarily the best choice. As far as elites are concerned, I don't have disarm. I do want to kind of go for heavy elites anyways, though, because I'm forced to rest, so I'm thinking three elites. I can also three elites on this side, which gets the sparkle out of the way, but does this deck do sparkle? Probably not. I mean, we can go for here, we can go for a shop, and then go for three elites. Yeah, let's go for three elites. Huge stretch. But that's the stretch we're doing, baby. Big stretch. Only the biggest stretch. is uh, I, I, I can't. It's so naked all the time. I can't do that. I can't do this. Okay. Rupture combust strength scaling. Is this what's is this what life has come to? I absolutely don't want to go down this route. 
I absolutely don't want to go down this route, but the rupture combusts. It's, it's showing itself. What's up, guitar? I hate rupture combust. I hate's a strong word. This is a stupid run. The only way this could work if I remove five strikes. Only way this this pick works if I remove five strikes. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Now we can do Master's. Oh my god, check this out. Those are the swings we're talking about. None of that willy dally, crowly pally shit. These are the swings we want in our life. Nothing in between. Okay, this turns horrible. <laughs> what a turn. Doesn't matter, we're gonna get rid of that regret. We're gonna have a big shop, huge shop. In flame. I'm done. Alright, it's gonna be a power deck. What the actual hell? Let's go, transmutation, I believe. Let's go! They, they're, they're gonna hate on you all day. I'm telling you, transportation, me and you, we're taking over. The Reaper wasn't bad there. Trying to milk Reaper here. Am I gonna milk Reaper? Oh, I can't milk it now, can I? Fuck me. I guess. Nah, I should have drawn first. Whoopsies. Nah, no point. Flame Barrier, okay. Okay, Birdfish for healing. Duplication Potion is really good. Alright, so. Oh, Dark Embrace. Okay, this is just a power deck. It's just a power deck. Okay, this is just a power deck. Okay, wow. Speaking of power deck, Briefcase Run is pretty cool, right? No, but we, we're forced to rest. I think Slinger's Courage is pretty good here. We're going for a lot of elites. Here's what we're going to do. Remove Regret. Slinger's Courage. Duplication Potion. Dark Embrace is really good. This is a power deck, so Awakened One is just going to kick my ass, but we're going to worry about that for another day. Dark, I can't really take Dark Embrace here, can I? Although it can lead to some crazy things. Maybe not at the moment. I don't really have a way to dump strength either. I guess body slam? Nope. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. But this is what we have to do. And what does Dark Embrace do here? Finash, I don't I don't really hit Finash reliably, unfortunately. Dark Embrace is really good power, but I, I need to get rid of these strikes. And <laughs> what is this deck? <laughs> What is this deck? I mean, Body Stone would be good, but currently it's just kind of bad, right? I need to just get rid of Clutter. Fiend Fire is probably the better pick to get rid of Strikes, but it's okay. I'm doing good, Six Minutes. What's up, man? What can Dark Bits do for me? Chosen Fights. Um, occasional Can Trip for Headbutt. I think we have to pass for now. For elites, let's go. Uh, that's an early. What if I just a double reaper right now just to heal? Is that worth it? I think double carnage is better on the boss, right?
Double Reaper just to heal? I don't know. Double Carnage on the boss is practically killing the guy already. In fact, I, I kind of just want to Carnage the boss, but then... Then they're going to attack and he's going to give me a debuff. Double Reaper heal. I'm going to be forced to rest anyways for this fight. Double Reaper kills a minion here and then... Yeah, that's awkward. I think Double Reaper is kind of bad here. I mean, it's... It's like a full heal, pretty much. But double, I'm forced to rest, so like, double carnage is just like, sh destroys this guy's life. But then, double carnage basically keeps the gremlins alive, so I guess I should probably... What's up, Snaven? We're out of the closet today. Double, the double rest, the double heal is not as important. Just killing the minions is more important here. I guess Double Reaper kills this minion, which helps. I don't know if I want to waste the duplication pot here. At least not for this, right? Uh, I just gotta do this just because of the way it kills the minions. I think killing the minions is better. Or this is oh, this is thirty damage. Yeah, I can't I can't justify that. Can't justify that. This is a weekend. Weekend ends up being better, huh? I can kill the minion, which is 14, but this weekend is preventing how much life? Like nine, yeah, that's killing this guy's better. It's okay. It's kind of like a lame transmutation. Uh, like another transmutation, eh? That's crazy. <laughs> it feels like a lame. Um, that's fine. I don't. I don't like to use that duplication pop. That's okay. We gotta zoom anyways. So let's do it. Twin strike is pretty good for the strength that we're about to have. But let's do this. I want to go. I want to lean to the zoom. I want to do some crazy stuff. Give me the chance to have some crazy stuff happen. Go for the weekend. Ah, but then that's flame bearer. Nah, no, the weekend's just better. Do I care about the wounds? The damage is too good. So bash for the weekend again. Okay, transmutation is just gonna give us lethal, right? You ready? You ready for transmutation lethal? Are we ready? I guess I could also heal with Reaper. Like, I could just take this hit and then heal with Reaper next turn for seven. Or. Hey, what's up, fireworks? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Or transportation gives a lethal two chances. Uh, I should probably just. <laughs> I should probably just block. Get okay, block as much as possible on this with Reaper. Dark shackles is a thing too. There's dark shackles. There's attacks. There's panic buttons. I mean, look, we can block for thirteen. Or we can go for the uber crazy play. I mean, I think Black Panther is ideal because we have Reaper coming up to heal. Transportation is more... It's more flashy. So you're like, oh shit, it works, but... Let's upstart through this. Never doubted it. Okay. So, we have, um, 
He's got feed and spell weakness. Oh my god, why am I getting... I got, okay, okay, this is a crazy choice. It's just some crazy choices. Holy shit. Why do I have combust rupture? Oh my god, dude. I can't even look at my deck, to be honest. I can't look at my deck right now. Feed is really good. Ghostly armor is really good as well. Just to kind of flesh out some of the block. My block is really shoddy, so ghostly armor is really good here. So my weakness scaling is obviously insane because Reaper is a thing. I think feed if I go for the max HP route with feed it kind of allows me to get away with this stupid ass deck because I have max HP to kind of back me up but currently I think ghost armor is just the best raw card for the deck in terms of block and balance if I can get feed off reliably then it kind of justifies this stupid ass deck which has combust rupture and barricade and powers because the, Mac, the, the HP can kind of <laughs> be used as a resource. I mean, Shrug is. Does help our. Is the same, same conscious as Ghost Armor does help with our block. Oh, man. Swap is so good, but we have this combust rupture and flame because Swap is not as good at the moment. Even though I can help with Reaper, I think we just gotta stay within flame and tr trust on that. Feed might be the bigger boon. We have Exhum. It's too many strikes though, but. Uh, feed might be the better late game play. Alright, the question is, I do sparkle now, like, so I just did Book of Stabbing, it's gonna be Gun Leader or Slavers, can I really justify doing Book of Stabbing now? I mean, um, sparkle now? Or do I want to try to let my deck flesh out a little bit more before I do, do sparkle in the, um, third act? I mean, how does this do against Triple Slavers? I mean, we have good front load of Carnage. And we've got like a Reaper for the Slavers. Like I think this deck could do okay against Slavers. I'll take a hit, but I absolutely think I can do fine against Slavers here. Gremlin Leader. If you get combust out early, I feel pretty good against it as well. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I don't know, Sir Gritum. I don't know. I don't know if I should even entertain that idea, to be honest. I'm gonna get feed. I want feed to become a thing. I mean, it's gonna be hard to let feed become a thing, but we're gonna try, right? I try, but it didn't work. I'm sad. It didn't work. A sad boy. Early bomb is nuts, huh? One thing this deck could use is just a havoc. Just look, just havoc my shit up. Get rid of transportation, havoc it. So if I havoc transportation, I get all the cards for free. I think we just havoc here, actually. Like we just need havoc to just start getting rid of this crap. And I, I can't care about feed. I can't care about this. I just need havoc to just get rid of this crap. Start thinking on my deck. Absolutely. I should've done that first. Oh, imagine not doing that first. Beautiful. There we go. Get combust out of the deck. I mean, get barricade out of the deck, I mean. Gorgeous. I guess I could've saved for feed. Now that I think about it. So close.
Uh, gold or HP? Gold or HP? Which one, guys? Gold or HP? Gold? Take it. Double blood pot. Okay, Jesus Christ. What is this deck? Oh my god. Disarm is really good, but Twin Strike is really good because we have Sling of Courage. Oh my god. Alright, little tiny slavers. Let's go. Region could be worse. Free fight, free fight, free fight. <laughs> What's a fire guide? Is that something here with you? Nope. Not even worth it, to be honest. It wasn't even worth it. Feed time. I guess I could have but the the Reaper. Okay, it's feed time. Other than matters because the guy's dead. They were frog huge. Helps my damage. Shrug it off. Great. Okay, we're forced to rest again. That's the only problem. I know I could have kept the zoom, but eh. I I don't know if you noticed. But I'm I'm literally getting distract like a distraction every two minutes. I'm getting a distraction. It's ridiculous. I guess no, but this is I'm probably gonna need to uh, rest after this. Thank God for the rest after this one. Not bad. I don't need to drink them. I don't need to drink them yet. I'm not forced to drink them yet. For exhum, I want to be greedy for exhum here. I want to be greedy for exhum because I want to get feed here. I'm gonna greet it. I'm gonna greet it here. Huge. So, uh, upon pick up, choose a card in your deck. Every three turns, add a copy of that card to your hand. Oh, after some inter wait, after some thought of changing relic is is now a allows you to make some interesting setups. Wait, so it's different. Upon pick up, choose a card in your deck. That's that's super powerful, Endergrim. You can drink this anytime. Exactly. That's why you don't you're not forced. That's super powerful, Endergrim. My other way was more bound. Okay, all in. Yes. Yes. That's super powerful, Endergrim. I don't know. <laughs> I'll get a barricade out of here in flame. Okay, that's fine. Secret technique. Havoc. 
Well, Havoc's not gonna hit anything important here. I can blind him again. Uh, I need Havoc to hit something like one of these. I guess Colors could technically give us a Madness, but that's stupid. I can blind now just to get rid of the artifacts, but then like... We could also do Transmutation, okay, can you Exhume again? I'll do this, it's fine. This is how you take something crazy and make it... I want to get Barricade out. Uh, I got to get Flame Barricade, but I really want to get Barricade out. Just one, two colors cards. Okay, so then... But th that removes some versatility. I don't like that. I don't like that as much, Ender. It removes versatility. I like the fact that you can, like, situationally choose different cards instead of being stuck with one, you know? I kind of want to get rid of Anger here. But getting rid of Struggle would kind of suck, huh? Nice. Yeah, being stuck there is not good. Put three room attacks? What, what three room attacks do I can bring here? He agreed. I guess Bash could... Nah, we're fine. I guess I can kill this thing. You guys dead already. Panache is like the best play probably. I remember I can only play five cards though. Bash, I can't even get the weak because he has an artifact still. And you need to get the vulnerable first for the weak to apply. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. It's only when the vulnerable applies do you apply the weak. <laughs> uh, violence is... This Panache is the best card here. I'll be fine. I don't, I don't need Carnage. I want to get Barricade out. We're fine here. We're only fine if I get Barricade out, actually. Otherwise, we're not fine. I'm getting strength skilling though. Okay, there's Barricade. Ooh, there's Blind. Uh, I think I need to get Barricade out. Start, but, uh, I should get more block here first. Why is Barricade so damn awkward? It's probably better to just block, but uh, Barricade's gonna be better late, like after this turn, because I have good block. Barricade's better for after this turn. I think I gotta take the bullet here. Is that potion worst case scenario? We gotta get Barricade out though. Yeah, where's that purpose when you need it, huh? There's a weaken. Start pushing for damage. Should probably start pushing for damage, huh? Yeah, Reaper 2, yep. Try to get Reaper here. I want to get feet as well. Maybe get lucky and get both. I'm gonna be for feed. Feed, feed, feed. I get a hand to green technically. All right. So feed is more important in my opinion. Like I can get gold, but I think feed is more important. So I'm gonna go ahead and I guess I could do secret technique. I could, that was a mistake. I could do secret technique, pull out the defend, and then draw, get better odds. I could do that. 
But here's the problem. 50% chance I don't get gold, I get max HP. This is guaranteed gold. Now, I could have... What's up, Squitter? I could have fixed this. So you the defend out, then the 50% chance it's... uh Having is guaranteed. Every three turns, choose one or three color squares to add to the top of your drop pile. Yeah, that's good, Ender. That's good, Ender. I like it, I like it. It's a little bit less strong, but it's like, it's still pretty good. We could just block and guarantee it. Nah, but doesn't combust. A combust hits the thing, right? Combust hits the, uh. Yeah. It's fine. Happy flower, but that's fine. It's crazy deck. I'm getting blood pots left and right. What is going on? What's up, Dan? Thanks for following, buddy. What is going on? Offering is pretty good because I have a lot of setup. Like, offering to get out all these stupid powers, but the second impervious is really strong. I don't need Juggernaut here, but the second impervious is stupid strong. I can start leading to just barricade a little bit more, maybe start moving strikes. Offering is because of my setup, it's not bad. Like an offering just helps me get some of this crap out. Because there's a lot of crap. It also gives me more transportation as well. Did you see the deck you post in Discord? Let me check it out, man. What's up? What did you post in Discord? Where'd you put it? Yeah, but where's the deck? Yeah, like a body seven trench thing? Yeah, nice, man. That's fun. Yeah, those are great. Uh, offering for the setup, just more impervious. We need card draw with all these damn setup. I wonder if imper uh, offering is better in the long run. This is a funny deck, man. So many powers. Awaken one's gonna kick my ass. Yeah, I like that, Dan. That's, that's thematic, man. It's good shit. Good shit. Let me drink some water. Exactly. Impervious is good. It's a good block. Helps me barricade. Helps me out some turns. Um, but Offering helps get everything going. My deck is 30 cards. I feel like Offering's probably the play here, honestly. Not about energy charge, it's about draw, draw starve. I'm gonna get better trends. That's what I need. Okay, Snack White, my card draw is all I needed. All right, so there's a card draw. Um, we got what we needed. And, uh, technically, technically we can do calling about or more where you get three relics for free. And we can just be happy with the deck that we have. Let's get three relics, move on. Ayo, Addy Boga, you're new to the game. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, feel free to ask a question. If you don't want to know what a relic is, feel free to ask in the chat, okay? We'll help you out, man. Welcome, welcome. It's three relics, but Snackle gives me the card draw. That's what we need. We need card draw. Awaken one. Okay. This is fine. Awaken one's fine. All right? Like, believe me, I, I knew it was Awaken one the, the moment I took these powers. I'm, I was... I knew this was going to happen. You want to hit these shops. I want to go for three elites. How do we feel about... Uh, it's an early shop here. It's an earlier shop. More hallway fights. Same amount of hallway fights. More hallway fights. And, okay. So I'll go for the later shop then. And this path is like elites, campfire elites, campfire, campfire elites. This one is elites, campfire elites. Same deal, but has one less campfire. Is one less campfire gonna make or break this? Maybe this path is just better because it has an extra campfire just in case the hallway fights kick my ass. And we get recall going. This is a very uncharacteristic Snickle turn, by the way. Now, we have two Blood Plots, so this is going to be quite interesting. The transmutation is always there. <laughs> Look, you ever wonder, hey man, this turn Snickle wasn't very kind. Save me, buddy. What the actual fuck? Wait, guys, holy shit. Look, look at this play. No, 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 I need you to look closely, okay? We do this first. Wonderful, right? Then we do this. Uh, that was actually awful. Fuck. Uh, fuck. Wait. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Now we got it. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about.
That's cooking with gas. Prime time. What the fuck? This is this is ideal slate spire. I don't care what anybody says. I need to get barricade. Why both both impervious? Impervious, you're wonderful. I love it. Yeah, you're super cheap at 60 block. Where's the barricade? The deck's horrible. But we'll persevere. Hmm, okay, there we go. I should Reaper here, but this is kind of a bad Reaper. So how do we make it better? Hey Jude, how do we make this better? Alright, Jude's not really helping here. God. Yeah, I, I, I do want to get Reaper before this fight's over. Reaper's way too good to pass up here. I also want to get Feed before the fight's over. There's just a lot of things I want to get before the fight's over. Reaper and Feed, I can do both. Now oh, the Reaper's going to be kind of shoddy because they have block. Oh, we got feed though as well. Okay, this is exactly what I was wanting. Get wrecked. Okay, so... Uh, let's try to actually bring this together. Is that wind so No, I did not, man. I did not. Headbutt, cleave, pommel, 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 pimmel. Headbutt's really good with this fat deck. Because there's often times where I miss some things, so Headbutt's really good. But we need to remove, like, all these strikes. If I remove all these strikes, the deck is actually winnable. <laughs> Currently, with all these strikes, the Headbutt feels awful. But, yes, remove these five strikes, add Headbutt, game over. I even need, like, a disarm. Pommel's good late game, but we don't need to worry about that. Like, like late game damage, I think I feel pretty good about it. Well, do I feel good about it? I'm not, I can't really blow my deck with that. I think Hedwig's probably a play here. But we already have one. Hedwig Havoc is kind of interesting. Nah, we gotta skip here. Let's move a strike. Transmutation, you ready? Oof. Mmm. I'm disappointed in transmutation, to be honest. I'm disappointed. Try it again. I'm kidding. Finish it again. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to get like a reaper on this guy. Metamorphosis, you ready? Yeah, buddy. Alright, we want to get feed though. That's all, that's all we care about. Feed, 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 feed. There's the feed, there's the feed. Let's guarantee it. Ah, oh, but I don't want to take damage. So, did we get lucky? Uh, did we get lucky? Did we get lucky? Did we get lucky? We're, give me luck, give me luck, give me luck. Give me luck, give me luck, give me luck. Ah. Uh, is it worth just taking damage? I should have weakened him and then taken the damage. Should have weakened him taking the damage. That would have been worth. That would have been worth. What do you guys think about bludgeoning with Snickerwai? <laughs> I mean, on, on average, it's going to be really cheap. And it's a, it's a crazy attack, but uh, we don't really need to worry about that, right? We really want to start drawing to the things we currently have and not anything else. We're about to move a strike. I guess we don't really have 
We kind of don't really have strength ceiling, so getting solid value cards could be good. We do have strength ceiling with rupture combust, which is kind of slow, and then flame can get us some sort of there. We have carnage for solid damage though, for the same purpose. Uh, I'm gonna I'd rather not blow. Okay, so a second of flame could be good. Keep in mind, we are going against the. Uh, uh, we are going against. We're going against the awakened one. So I think if we get entrenched, the game's over for the awakened one. We just need entrenched. We can win that fight. Here, I think clock receiver might be worth it for the um, artifacts against the hearts. Vulnerable, and maybe for the occasional panic buttons from transmutation. <laughs> and flame number two is good in every case except for the awake woke bloke. And flame number two, it's pretty good. I guess true it's good. If, I can't upgrade it unfortunately. Stone counter, I'm not considering. Chaotic narwhal, thanks for the follow, buddy. All right, I gotta move a strike here. First and foremost, priority. I can, I can save for another shot, but I think Clockwork Shimmer has its benefits, so we'll do this. I could pop a potion and try maybe keeping Flex Spot for the Clockwork Souvenir. So I can get I can go into this at least with some strength, if I feel like I need it. But I'd rather save my money for another day. If there's ever time to maybe, ooh. Digitation here. Okay. okay. Bomb? Hit the bomb. Wait, I can guarantee hit the bomb. Is that worth it? Purity's kind of cute here. Because purity can guarantee madness. Now, what's... The bomb doesn't prevent damage this turn. But it prevents a lot of damage on turn three. I'm more worried about this turn. So, ideally, just doing Reaper is best. Oh, Reaper can come back. This is weird. Bomb is pretty good. I'd rather do Reaper. Am I getting rid of the bomb? Yeah, we are. Oh, Here we are, six months, Switch Prime. Welcome back. Thank you for the Switch Prime, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, should I have done Reaper again here? Should I save Exhum for, like, Exhum for just like doing transmutation stuff? I don't know. Let's do Reaper again. Nah, I can't even do Barricade in time. This is terrible. This is tragic. I don't know what to say. This should be a doozy. Let me make sure I survive next turn. So, I need to like do as much as I can here. I wonder if I can survive without doing Impervious now. And save it in for the next turns. I don't have Barricade out, so it feels kind of bad. We are getting Strength Scaling. I'll use one. When you weaken, there's the weaken. I save Impervious again. So we can last longer to be honest. Next turn is the next turn's a prom turn. Next turn is where I need all the damages. We could have something really good, like twin strike. Fan of Pain? Uh, Fan of Pain's probably really good here. Uh, so many powers. Fuck me. I'm trying to maximize double feed here. I need to maximize double feed. 
feel like combust puts me in like an awkward clock. I don't I think I want to be on that clock for combust. I mean it helps with Thorny Boy though. Makes Reaper better too. So I'll do it. Yo, peace out, Dan. Enjoy your studies, man. Okay, are we doing the uh transmutation? Yes. Actually, I was asking for one. I just wanted one of Atheosis because I want to upgrade feed. That's all I really wanted to do. Upgrade feed. And we got it. So now I want to try to double feed here. Peace out, Dan. First feed. I should have done Fiddle Pain first. That's okay. I know, change of sensation is, no one uses it, so no one sees the craziness that happens with it, that's the thing. I'm only getting two feeds, so let's kill this guy. Now it's just me and you. I guess I could have tried to do a Reaper, but... I think we could do feeding Reaper, huh? Maximized. Entrenched, that's all we needed. All we needed was Entrench for the uh, Awakened one, so we got it. Burning Pack is really good to start thinning out the deck and start um, thinning out the deck. And, uh, you know, getting card draw, which is really good, but nah, Entrench just makes Awakened one free fight. You want to bring back the scuff stream? What's up, first in? Alright. How many champions for a classic stream? Let's see. Now you're asking the real questions. I'm trying to feed this guy. 50,000 points, we get a, we get a, uh, we get a closet stream. Oh my god, what? Yo, I think I'm bugged. Draco, you're right, I'm bugged. Like, I, I actually think we're bugged. I, I'm getting way too many double things. I should go gamble. Just kidding. I want to get this feed. I'm feeling lucky. Uh, that wasn't very good. Oh god, so close. Got it. I imagine we're actually just like re re feeding, right? Oh my god. This is what we say, kitchen sink, right? You talk to your mom, you say, Mom, you know, I would like a limit break, a barricade, a transmutation, all these things for Christmas. Uh, go ahead, son, put it in your deck. Grab a snuck away, have fun. No, I can't do limit break here, but... But can we? <laughs> this is such a stupid deck. What is this? I can't believe it. I gotta remove like two more strikes, three more strikes. And then it actually is pretty good, actually. Then it's actually good. Actually, actually. Mom, can I have a limit break as well with Barricade and the Transmutation and the Reaper and the Feed and everything else we're doing? Son, you're getting a little crazy. But they said if you put win conditions in the deck, you win the game. Yes, but there's an order and there's a balance. Um, more in flame. Okay, so we don't want to do three in flames. Let's respect the wake, the woke look a little bit. I mean, the entrench will win the fight. I guarantee you, entrench will win the fight. We just gotta get a little lucky with the orders. But you know, seven cards a turn, we should be able to manage it. Now, limit break is not really good. No, we don't need it. We have strength defense scaling. We're good. Uh, Flame number three. Now we're good. Pet modified hand, maybe. Recall now. Let's go. I was gonna, I was gonna grab a trigger, but I can't upgrade it, so I didn't grab it. <laughs> I like the weaken better. Although my house is kind of nice. No raptor mancher. We're getting very lucky. No raptor mancher is pog. Let's go, Mayhem. I believe in the Mayhem. I guess Master Strategy is better there, because it's gonna be, when I redraw, it's not going to be as good. Mayhem, wait. Okay, listen. Can we talk about this? Yes. I was believing in you until you did that. Here's what I want to do. I want to exhume the feed. 
So what we're gonna do is We're gonna exhume the feed. I I, I believe wholeheartedly that when I exhume feed right now, we're gonna get it right back. I just I just know I'm gonna get it right back. I just know. I'm getting rid of carnage because I don't want to draw into carnage. I only want to draw feed. Feed and only feed. I believe. Mmm, shit. I think we're gonna draw it next turn. This is bad. Should I greed this? I have a feeling we're gonna draw it next turn. But maybe if I if I believe hard enough, we can get feed on the following turn. Unless it costs zero right now, imagine. Damn. Okay, and yeah, there's a you know fifty percent chance we don't get feed now. Easy. What what did? It, wait, what the? Mayhem! I swear to man, we had one rule. Mayhem is not feed twice. All right, you know Mayhem is sabotaging me. I right, game over. Bottle lightning. Well, wait, I actually, I'm full life. I don't even need the blood pile. What is this? Bottle lightning? Okay, if we had apotheosis, yes. This could be really good. Except I actually don't think it's that good. Transmutation for the memes? Absolutely not. I Everything comes in twos, right? Transmutation comes in twos. Mayhem comes in twos. It's just part of the process. Let's see the cards first. Dark Embrace is really good. Damn, that's another power, and I'm not sure I really want to go down that route. Woke looks still a thing. But we're one corruption away from just breaking the game. I guess Whirlwind is like our only, a our true AoE. We haven't had any real AoE, I guess, aside from Combust. So if we're going to fight Reptomancer, maybe we just take the Whirlwind? Wait a minute, I mean... Maybe we take Whirlwind for the Reptomancer, potentially. We're, we're full down in the memes, but I'm also trying to win. So it's like, it's, it's a delicate balance of tug of war. Like, is the meme going to win out here, or do I want my desire to win stronger? It tends to be like, sometimes the meme wins, but you know, my desire to win is stronger here. So I'm keeping it balanced. I mean, Whirlwind's good for Act 4 Elite, sure. And it helps with the cultists, right? An Awakened One, and it helps with Dono and Deco if we get that. And it helps with the Reptomancer that we're gonna fight an elite so I think we take it yeah sure bottle lightning though uh, transmutation turn one here's what I'm thinking I do impervious turn one right for the off chance let, 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 this is my big brain right for the offense we get barricade on turn one then impervious right away means that entrenched is already viable you agree in previous turn one on the offense, we get barricaded right away, or get a bottled tornado, you never know. And then Trench becomes really free. But then at the same time, you don't really want to draw impervious turn one most of the time, because most of the damage is on turn two and three, if we're talking about the heart, right? For the heart, turn two and three, impervious is better. But if you luck out with barricade and trench, then... I mean, it can go both ways, man. The impervious could be huge if you get barricade, or it could be. I wish I had that on turn two, turn three. <sighs> so we just shrug it off, then. We just shrug it off. But I mean. I think this is kind of like not so much that it draws. Oh, we have to force rest. This is terrible. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I don't want to. I think we just avoid the rest. Unless this hallway fight is so nasty. Technically, we could go for another shop. And then for the elite. Unless this hallway fight is really nasty. We can get some more cards. Like, I'm not opposed to cards here. I could lose a defend. I could lose the inflame for the wake cloak cloak. I'll lose a defense, sure. Let's go. If 
Battle Shards is good. Ah, second in transmutation. Are we feeling it? I gotta remove a strike more than anything. So I just gotta remove the strike here. You think Battle Shards is worth it on the off chance that it uh is not zero cost? Let's do it. Alright, wake. What's up, Reptomancer? What's up, Reptomancer? Combust does work here too. I want to get Combust played, but I also kind of want to just. The Combust is really good here, but. Hmm, I should play Combust here. I can't do true, unfortunately, because of the no upgrade situation. It makes it much worse. No, I don't need a waste duplicate pot. I think I need a waste duplicate pot for the awakened one. It's gonna be a hard fight. By waste, I mean utilize. Is it better to just kill both the elites now and just try to draw back into combust? Or headbutt it back, because we have headbutt. I think we tried. I think we have to do combust here and take one wound, because it's just better for the overall fight. I guess we have whirlwind too. I wish feed worked on these guys. That'd be cool. We have headbutt shenanigans, so we can do like headbutt carnage. We can do headbutt flameberry for one more block. Uh, we can always weaken the boss as well. So it's not the end of the world. Yeah, battle trends, uh, tends to be awkward here. Flame bear for more block. Do I have enough damage for all of them though? Let me see. I can't do bash, weaken, and also kill all of them with combust. So maybe it's better to do... Carnage? The thing is, when you do Carnage, what does Havoc aim at when you use Carnage? Killing the little things would be nice. I can always Reaper on this fight. I'm not worried about that. I could also just bash... I could just bash uh, her and Weaken and then take the hit. Take some more wounds. I don't really want wounds. Um, maybe, maybe just getting blocked is the best thing here, and then weakening. But if I can target, if I if I get lucky and hit one of the minions, then maybe shrug it off is better than flame bear just to get more options. So I think we we weaken here. Putting anger in the deck is bad, huh? Is weakening and then just angering that the best play? Or should I kill two minions here? I guess the minions are not that big of a deal with Combust. And Weekend is going to be better for Reaper coming up. I'll do this. I can mitigate more damage though. Uh, fine, I'll do this. We don't have Barricade out? Wow, that's crazy. I can always exhume this, right? Oof, that's awkward. If we had barricade, these impervious would be great. This would be a great turn. It'd be a fantastic turn if we had barricade. Holy shit. Save Reaper then? Mm. 
Whirlwind here? No whirlwind. Wow. Alright, transmission's gonna carry. You ready? You ready for this? You ready for this? I'm not joking when I said it's gonna carry. You ready for this? Sick. I guess I could have been like a little bit better in trench. Oh, well. Ah, oh, discovery is so good though. Oof. I want to get Reaper before this fight's over. Okay. Feed then. Hmm, this is awkward. I want to get Reaper then. We'll at least do that. I don't want to do, I don't want to do too much damage. Maybe we can get feedback in time. If I do battle transcend, maybe we get feedback in time. There's a chance we get feedback. Alright. There's a chance I get feed next turn. I believe. I believe in feed. Let's do this. Maybe get card draw first. I believe in feed. Damn. What's up, colors? Cooler sub? Uh, trigger would be great if it was upgraded. I think Shockwave is probably the best play here. Shockwave just for the weekend and the vulnerable. It's really good. It's just Shockwave here. Uh, the deck's super fat, but, you know, Snake Away can manage that. Do we just do Blood Pot and take the Gummage Brew? Or Blood Pot could be better later on. Ah, this is good for that bad draw. Perfect. We're forced to rest again. Shop wasn't that good. Let's do the hit here. Come back with Reaper later on. And we're forced to rest, so if we're forced to rest, we might as well just go full yellow. And set up feed here, potentially. Let's see what we draw here. Okay, that's uh, this buys me time to just do crazy things. So I'm gonna set up a feed here. I'm set up maybe double feed. Exhume feed here. And then I'm just feeling really good here. Not at first, of course, but I'm doing good. Ultra Cannon, how you doing, buddy? I want to double feed this guy, and then I'm feeling really great. And I'm feeling really, really good. Good luck, Cooler Shop. You got this. Got two feeds. Let's go. Okay, so they said double barricade was a meme. They said don't do it. Barricade is not that important. I said, listen, son, I got 35 cards. I need two barricades. I need to make sure I draw this damn thing. But what about the other barricade? You can never exhaust it. Well, I could exhaust it when I play it again. I mean, tell me why double barricade is not the play. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Like, look. Once I get Barricade out and I get the Impervious Entrenched stuff, sky's the limit. Uppercut gets rid of two artifacts. Uh, uppercut also helps me maintain Weaken. I guess Bash helps Weaken, so does Shockwave. Uppercut does get rid of two artifacts. And it's... It is too Weaken as well. Just by not, by not being upgraded, Uppercut's too Weaken because of Champion Belt. Oh no... Barricade is so integral to this, this deck's success, though. Like, getting Barricade out early for the Imperviouses and Entrench is so integral to the success that it might trump the Uppercut Extra Weaken and the um, 
artifact stripping. I think the uh, barricade is so important that we need two of them. <laughs> I'm not even memeing. I'm not even memeing here. Oh man, crazy the world we live in. And if I don't find it first turn, I'm going to be very upset. Alright. I want to do Gambler's Brew and find it. Because as soon as I find it, then we're really good, right? Now, there's a chance that if I find it, it won't be free. Or one cost. I'm hoping it's one cost so I can play Impervious. But there's more Impervious in the deck. And I think I don't mind leaving uh, Incendiary Bit in the deck. Although Combust does help with the Cultus. We have Warwind for that, right? I think I gotta just gamble this and look for it ASAP. And uh, and what's the alternative? I'm trying to if we can have it, see what we hit. No. All right, so there's like unlucky, and then there's Jeremiah, and I'm like a tier below unlucky. This is like uh, abysmal, um, cry, cry, rage, whatever we gotta do. This is hair. Oh, what is going on? I mean, that's okay. That means in the next 20 cards, there's two barricades. Surely our odds are good. We draw seven cards. Two out of 20. One out of 10 is a barricade. And we draw seven cards. I wanted it as soon as possible. Don't have disarm. We're still fine, though. We're still fine. What if I draw a barricade right now? I'm going to feel so salty. Do I want a full block or do I want to do damage here? We try to go for feed. Wait, how much damage do we have? 25. Okay, 42. I could double feed. No, absolutely not. I have Reaper in the deck. Um, we have Whirlwind as well. I think we just go for damage. We try to actually do Headbutt Impervious here. I'll do feed another time. It's fine. There's the barricade double impervious. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm crying. Whirlwind's really good though. Fuck. <laughs> so like we have so much max HP. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. We have so much max HP. It it behooves me to just do whirlwind kill the minions now. Come back later for barricade. Because we have another one in the deck. But here's the also the thing, right? We do barricade and previous previous now. We do have entrench coming up, and that just wins the fight. But I could just kill the minions now. And there's another barricade in the deck. I have so much max HP. I could just, just wait. I don't have to rush this. No, no, we're not. Like, we're not memeing in the, during the boss fights. We're memeing outside. So the deck is big, the meme. The fight is re, uh, try hard. So we're not memeing inside the game. I think killing the cultists is better. I think if we have Merc Hourglass kills this guy next turn. Then it's just a single target guy to deal with. And Trench is still there. Sure, we have the damage, but this guy's gonna die anyways. Hourglass. I wanna just do barricade purpose purpose now. That guy dies to Hourglass, and we can single target that guy, no problem. Case in point. Alright, so we can just keep Ghost the Armor. I think Fiddle Pain is going to be worth it in the long run. Other transmission another time. I do think Fiddle Pain is worth it, but uh, I don't actually don't need to give him extra strength. This is game over. Alright, GG. For, for a deck like this, is not a bad outcome. I need me to maintain weaken, so if we can get weaken right now, it'd be fantastic. I might even just do exhum shockwave just for the weaken. Although I guess exhum impervious serve for some other purpose. Exhum impervious serve for some other purpose, sure. We're on body slam, so we need to get some kind of strength scaling going on. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not gonna have any damage. Uh, shockwave feels cooler though. The weaken. 
What's up, Danisha, brother? figure out the damage. You don't have any exhaust. I guess we could just technically slow play this like crazy. Just carnage to death. What does this got for us? Discovery, Dark Shackles, more Imperviouses, random skills. What do we got? Exhum, second wind is exhaust. That's really good actually. Don't sleep on that. Do not sleep on that. Sandy, hey, what's up? How you doing, man? Thank you. Appreciate it. Nah, we don't talk about that. I got rid of some powers. That's, that's totally fine. Are we going to have the damage for the next phase? That's the question. I think we're same, next phase is the same, same deal. I love Discovery. Exhumed transportation, you guys ready? Memes. Okay, uh, fuck. I guess I can let that go to waste, but fine, we'll use it. Damage. I'm loading my deck. I got a second win this crap out. I'm loading my deck, absolutely. Oh, no, that's never a bloat. Oh my god, what is going on? Honestly, I should have just played Funeral Pain. Well, we can meme now that we won, right? So now, now we can meme. Memes are appropriate. That's my only damage. We have Paper Frog. Paper Frog just sits on a damage. Never, never, never forget that. Paper Frog is all we need. Case in point. I can get this out of my deck. Boom. Maybe play a power. Nope. Okay. Let's try to get the weaken here. If we get a weaken, that would be great. Weaken, weaken, weaken. Uh, Dark Embrace is pretty good. I'm going to do... I guess it's offering worth it. I really wanted to save my life. I don't need a weaken. Yeah, we're good. So let's do discovery first. Thunderclap's weaken. Does that really what I think double tap is? <laughs> we'll do thunderclap weaken, why not? Because then we can do things like double tap, twin strike, and then start doing damage. Battle trance is kind of a joke at the moment. Alright, let's get our powers out. Let's dark shackles him. Alright, sorry, Carnage. You'll be missed. Right, we're good. We have enough block for the rest of the life. Hey, second wind. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Nah. Let's start doing inflame because we got rid of our inflames. I wouldn't need that for damage. I guess we could have done feed. All right? Maybe we should do exhume for feed. I missed the opportunity. Once we get rid of all these skills, um, all these powers, we're good. The deck's smooth sailing. Ooh, more powers. Yeah, we could have set up a feed, but it's like, do we really want to go through trouble? Maybe? I don't know. The damn voids. Ay, ay, ay. Discover feed. I'm ready. There's discovery. It's our weakness. Mom, could I have a body slam? You gave me all these win conditions. Where are the body slam, mom? You're trolling me, mom. Nah. Discovery feed is really the, the, the big green plane here. That's all we care about. In that, I guess that's kind of cool too. What's up, Cryom? Discovery feed, let's go. Can you still get feed from Discovery though? I don't think you can. Dirty memers. You can get exhum though. So you can get exhum. 
I know that for a fact. We can get Exhum, and that's the same thing. Are we really trying to maximize value here? Absolutely. Exhum is what we're looking for. Oh, thank you, Crown. Oh, Exhum. Ah, corruption. No. Yeah, we can get Exhum. 100%. 100% can get Exhum. Alright, I, 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 at any point you want me to give up, let me know. I, I will give up, but... True Grit? I can try getting True Grit. I give up. Alright, I got Barricade right away, and we got the Impervious. This is perfect. Alright, we can Headbutt the Shrug and play it. Uh... Maybe we look for Entrench? Ah, uh, no. We don't have a Disarm in the stack, nope. I want Battle is worth it, but I can't play anything that comes out of it. And I'm scared to draw out some important stuff. I can also draw some of the bad stuff. It's, who knows? I think... On average, but not good to battle trends here, because unless I get, I guess I can. It's like why it makes it such a fuck, man. I need frozen eye. Wow. I would have never assumed that was gonna be a thing. Jesus Christ. Although we did get rid of an artifact for that kind of stupid. That's an entrenched. Better than nothing. Pass up two disarms. But it was very difficult each time. It was ghostly armor one time and then the other time it was like something else. I guess I can do the trench now, but I kinda wanna do transportation. So like we can <laughs> This fight uh, well it's not guaranteed yet. We have a lot of max HP though. Ah uh, fine. You guys want to do Havoc? There's a lot of good choices here. I play it safe, Metal says out. Havoc can hit a lot of good things. Except for Exhum. I'm okay with everything that Havoc hits. Let's give says out. Get the powers out. Yo, get, hey, church from Brazil's man. Uh, we are currently frail. I want to save in purpose for after not being frail, but then this is too good. Never mind, I lied. All right, this is our swing, and the fight's about to be won. It was in this moment. All right, now we gotta do the damage thing, right? Maybe I just do combust. Havoc would hit exhausts. Ah, because you're saying it's the 11th card? I need a headbutt back the entrench. A snail on the rope? Absolutely. We need a weaken, by the way. So against the heart, we're gonna need some damage. So I think combust just to get the scaling, I suppose. Get it out of the deck. See what this gives us. Dark shackles. Get some more skills. Disarm, disarm, disarm. Spot weakness, absolutely. Might as well havoc. Goodbye. Maybe hit battle trance. Nope, doesn't matter. This I can get out of the deck, but I'll keep it for rainy day.
gonna go for feet on this guy. That's not his arm. <laughs> I can maximize here. I wonder if we can get feet now. For lucky. I'll zoom it back. Alright, I should, stop, I should get, stop giving him strength. Okay, uh, Act 4 leads to be interesting because... Because of things like... My really slow damage. I can't believe I'm forced to rest. It's really bad computer shot, absolutely. Power pod here. Like a prep I can't afford, unfortunately. I mean, in order to, like, have a deck like this, I need a min-max. Like, if I have transportation from, like, floor zero, I need a min-max to make it more viable. Back of prep would have been fantastic. I think the best thing right here is probably either Blood Pot, because you have so much max HP, or Power Pot. Blood Pot, oh, maybe Gamblers for turn two. Gamblers for turn two of the Elite. Blood Pot, because you have so much max HP. Power Pot's really good as well. I, mean, I don't see how power pot's instant when against the heart necessarily. We still have to like get big entrench and then we still have to get damage. I guess we could get demon form. That's kind of instant win. I think Gambler's Brew was they're all decent considerations. This for the heal, Gambler's Brew for turn two. They're all decent. What's up, Zywer? What's up, man? I actually got the barricade, so luckily my two barricades came in handy. <laughs> Uh, I think it's power prep now, though, honestly. Mm. I, maybe I should save it for the heart, though. This fight shouldn't be too bad. And we have Reaper to come back. Mm. Yeah, it is. Pull this up. Yeah, it is. Take it. I could take some damage here, yeah. Cause got Reaper in the worst case scenario. Uh, I could do. I could do pot now. Save some life. How much do I think Reaper can bring me back here? If I think Reaper can bring me back, then we're probably fine. Do I plan on getting feed, or want to just get it out of the deck for now? Like, getting out of the deck is probably better. Nah, but I want to save Exhum for Reaper, potentially. Hi. It's probably a good time to Reaper now, huh?
Is it like a weakened her? Do I want to save Exhum for Reaper? Or am I content with the fact that I'm going to heal 6? Do I want to go into the next... Uh... Do I want to go against the heart full life? I think so, because the right now, against the heart, our damage is a little bit suspect. So I feel kind of good about being full life against the heart. Because that is another 20 HP I can use to set up. And if I get down to like 60 HP, I think I can win the fight with off Entrench alone. So maybe I'm prioritizing full heal here. If you want to be more consistent, we just get impervious now, and then we just will be not full life. Mm. I mean, how much block do we have coming up, though? Hmm. I can kill this guy next turn. I think the fight's all about. I think the fight's all about one. So maybe we try to save for a reaper here. I guess there's Reaper now, honestly. If you add 6 to the mix, it's probably fine. It's not full life, but I mean, I guess we're trying to go for full life, huh? But I don't want- I, don't, I want the fight to be over. I want the fight to be over. Next turn, I ideally want to try to kill this guy if I can. Oh, wait. Pay transportation would be pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to end up taking a lot more damage here, so I think we're going to try to maximize Reaper even more. Getting damage would be sick here. Damn. Hmm. No weaken. Purpose for to save my life. We got Reaper. Let's see what this hits. Alright, anything zero cost. Bash could be zero cost. If I hit Bash, it's really good. I can get feed on him as well. I can Reaper and feed. I only have so much energy. I only have so much energy here. I, I want to protest Reaper more than anything. Nah, because I want to practice Reaper, so I want to strike this guy as well. But I wonder if duplication Reaper is worth it. Because so I want to do strike here to get rid of this thing, and get more Reaper heal. I want to keep Reaper is worth it for the heal here. Because what duplication would we use otherwise? I guess duplication for impervious or entrench that can be really impactful. I do kind of want to get maximized Reaper here, but then leaving this guy alive, that's really questionable. Hmm. Can I do a better Reaper? Or is this the best I can do? Did I already use transmutation? I did, so I can't do discovery shenanigans.
Jesus Christ. I was trying to kill this guy. Alright, there's some decent odds here. One and three. Let's go for the one and three. Or just block. I like the one and three. Do I like it though? I'll be right back. I use the bathroom. Oh, I still have a transmutation. Wait. Oh, fuck. I want to. Now I kind of want to maximize. Oh, no. I can't do it, right? I can look for discovery. And then I can give me exhume for feed. Ah, uh, stupid. Stupid. Tropic Brew, really? Cyber Soul to strike getting rid of some stuff. So, do you think Cyber Soul is going to be worth it for the wounds? For the wounds and the burns and stuff? Should I use that as like a true grit? Or is that just like too bloaty? Cyber Soul can thin out the deck so I can just do entrench. Uh, do entrench faster and get rid of some wounds and burns. I mean, Cyber Soul is an interesting take here. I do have funeral pain. Tropic Brew is trolling me, yeah. Uh, I saw it on my seat. In my closet, it was in my seat. And Tropic Brew technically could be better. Yeah, no, I think I like our potions. Okay, Cyber Soul for the wounds and the burns, because I don't have any way to exhaust currently. So maybe I just take it. And it maybe it doesn't bloat us that much. Transmutation. I really want to do transmutation here. I'm not even joking. Another funeral pain, or do we do inflame? Because we need so funeral pain times two means we're gonna have a shit ton of block, right? Are we worried about blocking this fight? Or are we worried about damage? If we're worried about damage, inflame is better to get the damage. If we're worried about block a little bit, we could take funeral pain times two, and then we'll get a lot out of that. Take some. It takes some time to set up with the block. I mean, we don't have dragon or anything like that. I think once we get the entrench going, the block's gonna be totally fine. I think we need to worry about damage, so we take the inflame. Yo, mind you, I'm, I think it's best if like I draw this, but look, I put it up for you, man. I put him over there in the kitchen somewhere. Yeah, put him in the kitchen. Now, but the, the problem is, I need to survive the next two turns. I, I, I need to set up my block. But once that block is set up, we're good. And damage then becomes the issue. And we do have two inflames in the deck. Like, we have inflame plus inflame plus. So maybe what I do is I just get Final Pain now so I can get through these awkward next two turns and help me set up. And by the time I play that two inflames and I have like Rupture Combust going off, we're going to have more than enough damage, I think, for this fight. I'm going to be real here. So I'm going to do this. But first. I think I don't mind. What would we like to duplicate? Most likely, like impervious or the uh, trench, right? I don't mind taking two hits here, right? Like four damage just to get maximized transmutation. So we take four damage for this. It's, it's not a meme, is it? It's not a meme. Yeah, Ninja. I think maybe we. It's hard to kind of see the emo, so it may be better if I could draw it, but yeah, that's kind of funny. I'll take four here. Got Discovery. Got Mind Blast, okay. Dark Shackles is good. I could do four thought on some of these things. Dark Shackles not as bad, but let's see what we can get. Got a Flame Barrier, a Headbutt. I could Headbutt the Discovery. Discovery did like a scrape. I could also Headbutt the Dark Shackles. No, I can't. 
I lied about that. Bludgeon could be for damage. So Bludgeon can start doing damage. Dark Shackles would be great to have. You can head with the Discovery. Keep doing stuff like that. It's not a bad card. Um, Bludgeon for damage. I think we're okay on damage here. Headbutt would be good for Entrench later. So, let's do Discovery for now. Uh, if I want to fourth thought something, would I want to fourth thought like Shrug and Flame maybe? Take an extra damage for that. What about Dark Shackles? I think Shrug and Flame are probably best. Alright, the Flame Barrier. So now I'm not gonna be vulnerable, but the uh, fourth thought in my deck is kind of awkward. Got the Barricade. See what discovery gives us. Impervious, huge, huge. Yo, Adi Boga, take care, man. Hope you learned something. We got a lot of funeral pain block here as well. I could also reaper now just to get it out of the deck, get the block. Yeah, so short so, so, so maybe I can do some stuff with it. Uh, I'm never duplicating this right now. Wait till I'm not frail. So currently we have 14 block by his end turn. So we have 41 block. Reaper just to get full block. I could do that. Reaper could potentially be better later on, but like at the same time, I don't think this deck needs to depend on Reaper. By the time I draw back into Reapers, you know what I mean? So maybe just get full block with this, get it out of the deck, focus on. Entrench stuff and then it's doing damage with flames. A weekend would be great here. Impervious is fine. I really don't like doing impervious when I am uh, frail at the moment. You know what I mean? Because this is me. This is such an important part of. My entrenched, but I'm about to have weakened, so entrenched crystal gives some good value here. So I, I still play it anyways. And then we still have a lot to entrench with. And there's the entrench. Now, what am I scared to Havoc? Probably nothing. Uh, okay, Havoc, Sever Soul will be really bad, right? So I have to do Havoc after this because Sever Soul will be really bad. Got rid of a strike, that's not bad. I'd rather get rid of the feed. Get more block. I do have duplication, I forgot to utilize. Oopsies. So, Sever Soul can get rid of some stuff here. Maybe it's not necessary. I forgot to do duplication, but I don't think it matters. Maybe I can do duplication on Inflame and get more damage. Do I want to get rid of Rupture and Metallicize? Rupture it could be a strength scaling with Combust. And that might be make or break in the fight. But this does give me more block and it thins out the deck. And it is doing damage. Rupture could be good with Combust. Don't know if it's necessary. Powers to thin themselves out anyways, true. But this thinning out the deck right now then maybe we could sh maybe discovery could end up saving us with the uh body stems or what have you the thinner the deck is the more discovery can maybe pop off i square it very very soft love you too buddy i'm gonna kill this i'm okay with this bronze guys have been good okay, let me start focusing on damage now straight up damage 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 Nothing but damage. I think I just get rid of the the. Uh, this could be saving, but I think I just got to get rid of the artifact for the weekend. That's good damage. I think it's got to get rid of the artifacts, right? So the weekend can actually do something. I would like to hit an entrench here.
Got the entrench. Enemy headbutt it. It's GG. I mean, the only problem with that is that, like, still need to worry about damage, but that's a lot of block. I also could sever soul with this wound, but if I didn't have to worry about any trench, I could sever soul the wound. So sever soul is a little awkward there. I could duplicate this entrench right now, and then probably my block is fine, but I think I want to duplicate something better. We're gonna find out. Gotta get a weak in here. Uh, if I hit discovery, this is really bad. So Havoc, I'm scared because of discovery. Getting rid of Carnage kind of sucks. Juggernaut's my damage. And we duplicate that maybe. That's our damage. Or do we not duplicate that for damage? Duplicate this for damage. Oh, we, we, the thing is, we're going to run out of block, so I, I do need to hit some big entrenches here. Maybe I do need to duplicate entrench. So if I don't duplicate this, I duplicate entrench so I can stay alive because he's starting to get stronger. Nah, I think we do do this for damage. I just need to get a weaken right now. Uh, exhuming purpose is better than the weaken, right? Exhuming purpose right now. Get combust out. Can you transmutation again? Nah, it's me previous. This could help as well. Alright, so now we can sever some, some of this bad stuff. We do have the headbutt again for entrenched. I don't have a weaken, unfortunately. I guess I could weaken right now. Do I want to keep this block or I want to start pushing it for damage? And it's two separate soul here. They were good. I won't give Havoc in anything here, right? If it's headbutt, then I would like to do entrench first, but let's see what I get. Uh, I think I'm okay with havocing, even if it's headbutt. Get that out of the deck. Flame would have been a lot of damage there. Alright, we gotta be careful though. Uh, we gotta be careful. This is not guaranteed yet. Case in point. Technically, if we do entrench, we could uh, block this, right? We need weaken. No, I can't block this at the moment. We need weaken. Yeah, I can block this one sec. Like 200. Kinda got the weekend. No push for damage. Got him. All right. So we memed, but we won, right? So transmutation floor zero, combustion rupture one, 
We took a barricade in Act 1. We had all these powers against Awaken 1. We had double barricade. We ended up feeding for a decent amount of life. And we won. There we go.